in that direction. So um, obviously it does depend a bit on the shape and it's not exactly you know, infinitesimally small, but basically what we've got here is a dipole field in that direction. So delta u looks like the field due to a dipole source, which um, is right. Okay, I'm, I'm going out on a limb here, I'm just going to try and draw. Some, something like that. So th this is meant to be what delta u looks like. Okay, so suppose we're doing this experiment in a lab. We've got a tank of salty water, we put a little object in there. We just look at... Um, the way the voltage, actually maybe do you by the end because we fix the voltage, changes on the boundary. And if you know that there's only one object, you can kind of imagine you could fit a dipole field to it. In other words, if you look at do you by the n and you're looking for the uh, boundary values of Neumann conditions for, for a dipole field, you can kind of see where it is from this. So, in fact, it's possible with some practice to get a tank and an experiment like this, move an object round, and, and pretty much estimate where the object is, if there's only one object from this. Um, and fish are quite good at it too, so presumably that's something how they do it. And if there's one water flea, uh, they measure the data on, on the sides of the body, and they can just kind of interpret that as a dipole pattern, and they need to find where the source is. That's not so hard. If there's two sources, if they're, if they're far enough away so they don't interfere, then you can imagine maybe you could pick out two dipoles. If, um, if there's lots or they're close together, it would just be a bit of a mess. Well, this comes into this series expansion because um, the point is the first order term is if this perturbation, um, this, this first order perturbation, doesn't interfere with the other ones. In other words, if you could put another object there and superimpose the fields and then just add, then that would be assuming that, that it's linear. That would be the first order approximation, it's linear. The second order approximation is, no, wait a minute, um, the, the perturbation in one affects the perturbation in the other. And that's the second order effect. And it's very much like uh, in scattering problems you've got something that's scattered once, but then the scattered thing gets scattered again, and, and so you have a thing called the Born series in scattering, which is very much like this, succession of higher order terms. Okay, so that, that's quite an intuitive formula, but um, what we want to get out of this is a practical formula for the sensitivity in the IT with some measurements with electrodes. So, so now we have to go to electrodes. Oh, no. Sorry, I, I need to tell you how to do it for the inverse of lambda. So, um, yeah, so, so let, let me just um, write down a, a, a neat formula for um, we want actually um, to work out lambda sigma plus delta sigma minus uh, lambda sigma, which um, is, of course, um, the change in the Neumann data. So that would be sigma plus delta sigma du plus delta u by dn minus sigma to you by the end, by definition, and of course the, there's this thing repeated, and um, well, I think we can see that we kind of know this because it's delta sigma to you by the end, and then it's um, plus sigma d delta u by the end, and, and delta u is the thing we've just got the expansion for, and then it's plus 
set to sigma. Um, and because, well, the, the delta u expansion has delta sigma to first order, and then this has another delta sigma, then if we're only working to first order terms, we'd ignore this one. This one we know, because we know delta sigma and we know, we know sigma to UTN, and then this is the thing we want to work with. But there's a kind of slightly neater way to, um, to do this, which is to write it um, as integrals. Um, so, um, maybe, maybe I could write it like this. Um, so, the, the, the usual formula that we use is that if you um, get the dot product So let, let me explain what this means. This, this is just the integral of f1 around the boundary. Um, so let, let me just sort of clarify that. Um, of course, you, you get a current when you do this, you get a difference between currents. And I'm just saying, let's see what happens when I integrate it against some other function called f1. And of course, if I do this for enough values of f1, then I know what this is. But on the other hand, um, I could shape f1 in such a way that it's just sampling things at the boundary, as we would with a system of electrodes. So, um, you know, I just choose, can choose a basis of f1. Um, so, um, uh, so my point is that there's a nice formula that um, comes out in Colton that this is the integral of delta sigma <coughs> grad u1 dot grad u2 over omega plus delta sigma bigger. Okay, so let, let me just uh, unwrap this a little bit. Um, so the derivation of this um, starts with the weak form from power conservation and uses the fact that you can treat the delta u as, as, um, as a first order term in delta sigma plus some higher order terms and eventually you end up with this formula which is more convenient for our purposes because um, the idea is ui restricted to the boundary gives the fr i equals one two. So we actually solve two boundary value problems with these two voltages as the data, and then this gives us a convenient way of getting the perturbation of delta, delta sigma. Okay, so um, how does that work? I'm going to slightly skip over the, the derivation. But um, if you if you remember the formula that the the power the power dissipated in the interior is equal to the power input on the boundary, and essentially it's it's the perturbation of that. Um, uh, I suppose it's a fairly easy exercise that actually if you have
that if this is true, then if you have two u's, u1 and u2, then it's, uh, this is true. And the way that you do this is you apply this. You just apply the first to u equals u1 plus or minus u2. In other words, for plus and then for minus. And then you subtract the two, you get, you get this. So that's a kind of standard little trick. So this doesn't sort of mean anything on its own physically, because the U1 and U2 happened at different times with different boundary conditions, but it's no less a handy formula. Um, so I, I, won't, I won't do this derivation. You can probably fill it in yourself. But the point is, if you, um, uh, if you do the perturbation, when you change sigma to sigma plus delta sigma, um, and then you do Gauss's theorem a few times, then you come up with the sensitivity formula that I just outlined. Okay, so um, so that's almost gazelle bits, but I, I, I worked this out for the Dirichlet Neumann, and we want the Neumann to Dirichlet. So that shouldn't be too hard because it's the inverse. And so there's a neat little trick to get the result that we want. Um, you might already know that if you define um, the operator inverse that takes A to A inverse, um, that's at least for a matrix, but it works for operators, so I should give a name to the map inverse, then the, the derivative of inverse um, at a fixed matrix B applied to a matrix A is minus B inverse A. That's elementary factoring, elementary factoring and advanced calculus. But let me just convince you that, at least for the scalar case, the derivative of 1 over x is minus 1 over x squared times the thing, times delta x. So, um, but for matrices and operators, they don't commute. So it turns out to differentiate 1 over, it is to the power of minus 2 but it comes on either side like that. So that's kind of plausible at least. And so we, we want to differentiate um, an inverse. So let me define the map F as being sigma mapped to lambda sigma, right? And um, I mean, that's, that's forward, F for forward, right? That's a forward problem in the IT. You get a sigma, you get the complete boundary data. Uh, let me call this, I don't know, I'm making this up. F, F tilde is sigma maps to, maps to um, L sigma inverse, the norm to Dirichlet map, which is equal to inverse composed with F. Right? So the if we want to differentiate this, we use the chain rule. So 